Hi, uh, good evening everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy the next JS application into AWS Amplify. So next is a uh, framework based on React, which supports server-side rendering SSR. So um, the, the normal React application, which renders on the client side, whether as next JS, you can use server-side rendering and client side rendering both. So um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Next.js on your local and then deploy to uh, AWS code commit and then uh, create a, a pipeline in AWS Amplify and link to a subdomain. So let's get started. So at first you need to uh, run this uh, npx command. So I have just run it. It takes around 10 or 15 minutes based on your internet connection. So um, this is the command. npx create next app latest. So after that, there will be a lot of packages installed. You don't have to do anything. Just need to wait for all those packages to be installed. Once it's inst installed, then you will get a folder like this where all those files that is required to run in minimum uh, next application is here so actually i can run it here as well so let's go to cd start so um okay i need to first build yarn build <laughs> When you do the build, then uh, you can start running. Okay. Uh, this will again take one or two minutes time. And when it is done, you will be able to see the project running on local host 3000. It's running, just a moment, let's wait. I already pushed all the code into AWS code commit in the main branch. Then uh, what I'm going to do is to link the code commit repository and create a new app in the Amplify. And then when the app is up and running, I will link a domain to that app. Okay. <clears throat> it might take some time or two minutes. So let's wait for that. Okay, it's done. Now I can do your start. So my build is done. I'm going to run this project in the local S3000. <coughs> Sorry. S3000. Here it is. So my next is app is up and running. Now let's go to uh, shut it down. Now let's go to AWS Amplify and create a new app. Here there are two options, build host web app, build app. I'm going to use host web app because it is a Next.js application, so it's not a mobile app. So here we have different options, GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, AWS Code Commit. I'm going to choose AWS Code Commit. Then here I'm going to choose the domain uh, repository name, which is this. Then I'm going to use the main branch. So uh, I'll choose the main branch. Connecting a mono repo with a folder. If your application is inside a folder, then you can choose it and then give the folder name. But my application is running on the root folder. So as you can see, all the applications are in the root. So I don't need to click this checkbox. So next, let's go next. Okay, 
and give it a name. Next web. Then I already created a role, but if you do not have any role previously created, you might need to create a role by clicking this button. So that's simple. Then this is pre-generated based on your uh, framework. They have already identified that it's yarn. So it's a next JS. So they have already created the build spec for this project. And here it is. The pre-install command is yarn install and then yarn run build and then you, you get the point. <laughs> Let's click on uh, advanced options. We don't need to use any advanced options here. So we can uncheck it. Let's go to the next. This is a preview. So if all looks okay, here they have already identified that you are using next server server side entering. So that's great. Now let's click save and deploy. This will take around 10 or 15 minutes time. So I'm taking a pause and I'm come back when this build process and deploy process is done. You don't need to do anything, just need to wait until it's done. Just wait 10 or 15 minutes, have a cup of coffee and come back when it's done. It's been five minutes, so um, I came here to see the update. Provision has been finished. Now it's in the build process. So let's click on here. As you can see, uh, this is the front end build process, and there is the full log that uh, what is going on actually. You see, they're installing node and things. Okay, I am back in I think ten minutes. Uh, so I see all green. That means we have uh, build, we have deployed, and verified. So uh, let's click on this link. And um, here you will see the React next step. So that's great, awesome. But problem is this domain, it's a bit ugly. I want to use my own domain. So how can I do that? Um, I can do that by clicking here, domain management, and then click on add domain. I'm going to add a domain here. Next. This is my domain. My domain is on uh, Cloudflare, so I'm just going to restart. So it automatically adds www, but I don't need that. Uh, should be fine. No redirection is required. So next, autocogov.com should point to the main branch. That's fine, click save. The good thing is it will create automatically a session certificate and uh, you need to add some DNS records for that verification. I'm just going to wait for a few seconds. After that, they will give me a DNS link. Okay, so uh, they have given me the DNS information. I'm going to click on new DNS records. So basically, I need to add two things. One, that is this uh, CNAME record, which I copy here. Go to my DNS manager in Cloudflare, add a record, choose type CNAME, put the record here. Then I'm going to copy the value. Testing here and proxy is disabled. So let's click here. Then I'm going to add this part. So next, CNAME. This part. So I'm going to add a new record. CNAME, and is next. Add it is cloud font. Save. Now, uh, let me close this. So I still need to wait for another 10 minutes for this DNS verification. Okay, my SSL verification is done and uh, I've already set up the CNN records. So let's try to uh, 
view if the domain is up and running. And here it is. So we have uh, next topic of .com. If I see the SSL, the certificate is valid. It's issued by Amazon. Valid from 4th of May till 3rd of June 2023. This is the default next year's place. So uh, there was quite a good uh, example. If you wanted to deploy your next JS applications to AWS, you can use AWS Amplify. It's very cheap and uh, you get paid only when you make a new push for the build and also when the visitors are visiting. So that's it from me. I hope this will help you to get started and uh, let's get a new project in AWS. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.